Welcome back. Thought I'd run this by everybody because I'm not, uh, you know, I have not done a lot of armored combat in the TCS system, and so it's a, it's a little fresh. It's a little uh, less experienced than my other inexperienced play. So here's what's going on. These two uh, tanks, they started out in fire mode, and their first impulse, they fired at this hex here, which they were in visible range of, and in spotting range of, and they fired at the guns, <coughs> the infantry guns, these guys, that were in the hex. Roll, roll the 65, killed five steps, so, you know, that's the entire unit. Now, there's no morale check, apparently, for under P fires, and I assume that that also implies that there's well, would be no morale check for other units in the hex as well. And I'm cool with that, that all makes perfect sense. So, then uh, what happened is, of course, when you fire at a unit that can trigger uh, or create an overwatch trigger, and I call that return fire, but it's really probably it's technically an overwatch trigger, right? So, these uh three, because there's two here and then another counter underneath. So these three steps of AT guns fired at long range. And that's, so there's no modifier for that. They have uh, three steps. So we would go to the three column and uh, do the adjustments for defensive value versus attack value and come up with uh, modifiers for that. And then I rolled crap I rolled like a 20 something so there's no morale check or anything like that so they missed basically plink plink uh, subsequently these guys now fire at these guys uh, in their second impulse and have a no effect result to make the story short and then these guys would then have a chance to return fire again right uh, that would be my understanding so they can fire back and they rolled a 45, which I think was going to be a morale check based on where they were at. Yeah, so no effect again. Now, for my third impulse, my third and final impulse, I could fire at these guys again. Or, you know, if I could see these guys, I could fire at them. But I'm going to fire these AT guns again. So let's uh, do that. This is a slightly better roll this time. It's a 45 for the, uh, for the allies. So let's just uh, walk through that combat. So I've got uh, four steps. Oh, actually, you know what? It's five steps because it's an HQ. Uh, so it's five steps. So that would have made a difference probably for the last uh, combat because I said four steps. Uh, it's pretty close. Uh, so five steps. So we go to the five. Number of point fires column is five. We look at the range modifications. It is long range, no mod there. The dude is in the open, but not moving, so no mod there. And then we look at the point fire, uh, the difference between them. Now, those AT guns are gonna have a defense of zero. So that means I'm gonna get a plus two column shift because you compare the attack value and the defense value, and then look at the table. So I'm gonna go up to the seven to eight column and roll a 45. And a 45 is going to be one step. So these guys, the strongest unit, uh, I'm just trying to get this guy out of here. It's going to be, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. It's going to be this guy. We are going to need a lot of one step. Uh, one step counters for this scenario. And in fact, the information counters on this game, it's the first time I bought a TCS game that doesn't have a full separate sheet of... Um, counters. Now where'd the one go for that guy? Here it is here. All right, so that's step loss. No, no morale roll. Now we could return fire. So hell, we're here. Why don't we do that? Uh, now I'm down to net total of two steps. So I'm on the two column and I'm still going to be at that long range. I'm still going to be in the open. And now my delta is zero because my combat strength actually, uh, does the combat strength change when you lose steps? And that's another question I have. So hang on one sec, I'll be right back. 
You know, I'm pretty sure that we're not doing, it's not like an infantry gun where we're multiplying the firepower by the number of steps or anything like that. So, and that may not even be accurate statement of itself as well. Let me just check here. Range differential, find the attacking unit with the lowest fire strength and then subtract the best defense strength, lowest firing strength. Oh, count the number of steps firing and find the appropriate column, apply the shifts, roll on the table, yada, yada, yada. I think we did all that. I think we're doing it right. Let me just check here. Yeah, you know what? In that example, it didn't do any multiplication. So I think, or division, so I think we're good. So what was I saying? Uh, I said we had a strength of two versus defensive two was gonna be a zero mod. And we had three on the three steps. So, oh, I roll a 53, that might be a step loss. I think it will on the three column. Let's see, there's the uh, die roll. Three or 53. Yeah, that's gonna pop a step. So we'll grab another one of these. And the strongest unit is this guy, so. He takes a tank, tank bruise up, and that would be their return fire. And so we can put, you know, what you can do. Well, then I actually have them here, and I don't want to mix up two sets of counters, just given how different uh, the counters are. They don't have the firing counters in here, but I'm just going to put this on here to show that they fired. Doesn't matter. It's Overwatch. They're done. Uh, so we'll just cock them and now we would go on to the next activation or the next uh, you know pick another unit to to, to work with etc etc so there you go I just uh, so I'm more of a validation exercise for me curious to see if that was actually accurate and love to hear your comments and thoughts if you are a TCS player tactical combat system this is Arate and uh, we'll kind of leave it at that talk to you soon